What is happening, everyone? Bashar Ketu here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's episode, I have an amazing guest and my very close friend, um, Nick here, who is a uh, the founder of... Uh, man, help me with, with the name again. Sorry, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to mess that up. <laughs> so it's um, Terio. It's, uh, Terio, awesome. Terio Solutions. A-R-E-O. There we go. So Terio Solutions, a digital agency go. that helps personality brands scale with paid advertising. So Nick, my man, how are you today, bro? Oh, dude, I'm doing great. Uh, I just got back from the gym, actually. Had a little Chick-fil-A and uh, kind of just been chilling, waiting to get things started with you. So, Absolutely, man. That's amazing. So, I've, I mean, I've known you for, for, for some time right now, right? We've done some business in the past, and uh, I think that was a total success. And, uh, yeah, man, so I really want you to um, kind of tell us about yourself a little bit. You know, go back where Nick really started with entrepreneurship. Um, explain kind of how you really got started with it. What did you do before that? And how did you really come to being the person you are today? All right. So um, the whole story kind of starts back in uh, 2008. I was literally fifth, sixth grade. I just got a PlayStation <laughs> and uh, I was really into the whole like Call of Duty franchise. And I would always go on YouTube and start watching videos and stuff of, uh, you know, tips and tricks and stuff like that. Right. And I found out people were making money posting videos on YouTube. And I just got like an immediate hook of like oh my god people are literally doing what they love and they're making money online like not having to leave the house playing a video game and at, at the time that was all that my life was was like video games and stuff so immediately found that out and that's what sparked the online hustle what really got me hooked on just making that online money so right. uh, fast forward probably about two three years i started up a youtube channel uh during that time period time uh, period of time i started uploading gameplay videos and stuff and i really got into like editing uh after effects photoshop and stuff and okay. i would literally charge people to make you know simple backgrounds and stuff uh video edits and stuff and i mean i was i didn't really start making money from it to like probably like my sophomore junior year where I was making an additional hundred, two hundred dollars a month. And I mean the hours, <laughs> the amount of work I put into it, I put like 40, 50 hours per video for a client and wow. it would be like 75 bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, that's kind of what I did all through like middle school uh, or towards the end of my middle school, high school years. And that's what really kind of got me to the, just a little tip of like entrepreneurship. And at the time I didn't think anything of it. Like it was right. literally just, Hey, I'm in school on the side. I'm doing something I love. I'm, you know, that's it. Like, I, money. exactly, exactly. And then once I got to college, I was like, okay, you know, I'm a final real career and stuff. Um, at the time, I was thinking about going to some type of like um, movie production and doing the special effects and stuff. That's awesome. But then I realized, again, the hours and just getting that paycheck and everything was just not something I really wanted to go towards. Right. So, Senior year comes around, I graduate, and I was working for a landscaping business, a lawn and landscaping business, and I was making decent money for my age. Um, you know, during the summer, I'd work full time, during school, part time, and I just got tired of the heat, <laughs> doing all the physical labor and stuff, you know, working 10, 12 hours a day outside in the sun, cutting right. grass, pulling weeds and stuff. And I remember one day, um, I was walking back towards the trailer. We're loading up all the equipment and stuff. I was just like, something's got to fucking change. Like I cannot do this anymore. I right. need to, you know, college is starting. I want to be able to enjoy college, have fun, you know, go to the parties and stuff, the typical movie stuff. That's right. And, and I need to find something. So I got into, um, I watched a YouTube video of a, uh, lady or girl, 22 year, 22 year old buys a Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, and this is when I found out about Amy Sangster and Lewis Mocker with Infinite Prosperity. And it's Forex trading. Okay. So I literally took like a whole week's check and was like, hey, because um, at the time I was really into like modifying my car, my truck at the time, just buying right. a parking blow. I mean, horrible return on investment. Um, and I was like, okay, you know what? Instead of blowing my money on this, why not just put it into something and invest in me? If it makes me a million bucks, cool. You know, I, didn't, I had no like uh, really limiting beliefs at the time, but right. also I had some very unrealistic 
uh, B leaves at a time, like, oh, look, I'm gonna take this course and next year I'm gonna be like multi millionaire. Right. So, <laughs> not, not happening. Unfortunately, that's how 99.9% of people are out there now. So, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And um, the course did manage my expectations with that. And I was like, right. Fuck. so this is actually gonna take a lot more longer <laughs> than I thought. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we're about mid 2015 right now. I take this course and everything, get into entrepreneurship. And I was I want to start financial trading, forex trading, and I needed right. some way to fund the account with uh-huh. money because it takes okay. money to make money. Right. And right. people are averaging about ten percent return or six percent returns with compound interest. It grows pretty quick in an account. Right. But you need the money to start. Right. And so I was like, okay, that's a side hustle I can do. I love working on cars. Why not start detailing cars on the side? And I remember bought some products to detail mine. Someone offered me a hundred bucks to do theirs in like two hours. I'm like, I'm getting ten dollars an hour at my part time job doing landscaping out in the heat all day. And I just made a hundred bucks for two hours of work doing the same physical labor and stuff, just a better amount of uh, money per hour per in a sense. Right. Absolutely. So start that business up. I needed a way to scale the business again. Part time right. business. I'm doing this in college. And yep. I need to wait to scale it on a budget. Okay. And, you know, I'm, I'm 18 years old now um, or 18 years old at the time. Right. And I needed a way to scale. And there was no way I could go spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on all this marketing material and stuff. Um, I guess you say flyers, posters, all the typical stuff. Right, right. Like, what's a way I can do it now that is cheaper and I have more control? And again, you know, with my heavy technical background of learning all these fancy programs and stuff, I've always had an ease to really go in there and, you know, learn something quick. Um, right. So I found out about Facebook ads <laughs> and I just was blown away from the, the day one. Just the ability to start off with $5 a day. I mean, it was nothing, you know, $5 a day. I take 20, 30 bucks off a job uh, that we would do. And I put it towards, you know, Facebook ads and I was able to scale the business pretty quickly. I mean, our second month in business, cause I did have a business partner at the time. He just kind of helped out and, right. um, I needed, you know, like I said, we started with like our second month in business with the Facebook ads. I started aggressively, I guess you could say scaling at that time aggressively, which was like $500 a month for me. Um, and I mean, we were making two, $3,000 back in revenue wow. uh, business. And again, this is just part time in college and uh, ended up quitting college after my freshman year. So I only went to college for a year. But during that time, I you know launched that business. I quit my job. Um, I've been self-employed since 2015 That's awesome. and <clears throat> quit my job, focused pretty much on the uh, detailing business. I did that for about a year and a half. And then I was like, you know, the detailing business is a great business, but at the time, it wasn't my purpose. It wasn't something right. I really love to do. Right. It was something I was doing on the side with the original goal to fund my trading account, right. which I ended up just, I, I was not consistent at all with it because I was working so much between the detailing business and going to college that that dream just kind of fell through. Right. But I got an amazing amount of value from that course of learning how to get into entrepreneurship, the Absolutely. mindset you need, the right. personal growth and stuff. Right. So, with all that, um, I started to really fall in love with the Facebook ad side of the detailing business. And I mean, that was like my favorite. That's what, that started to be my favorite part about the business. We would, you know, work the full day. Right. We'd take a bunch of pictures of the vehicles we finished. And then, we'd, you know, I'd go home and I would post them on Facebook. I'd take the ads. I'd boost. I'd so much just boosting a post because I didn't know anything about the ads manager. <laughs> I fell in love with it. And right. I watched a webinar. Um, of Sam Evans webinar and this was back in 2016 during the summer right. and um i watched this webinar and I, I took literally all the free stuff of like hey you know how he was going to like uh, i think it was um hot water heaters he was doing right uh, for hot water clients and i was like you know what i can do that too <laughs> i was like this is easy i'm literally just hitting boost the post and you know boom so um that's when like i got the digital marketing agency kind of bug that bit right. me um, when I first started the business, I think I spent a whole month just on the website trying to design the website because <laughs> at the time, like I was just, I had, I had like all these like things I wanted to achieve with the business, but like no clear, I was trying to do too much at once. I mean, right. I'm going to start a digital marketing agency. I'm going to do Google AdWords. I'm going to do Facebook ads. I'm going to learn SEO and stuff. And like, just trying to spray myself all over the place. Right. And, right. um, 
you know, picked up a few clients. First client was a um, car car shop or not a car shop, a um, dealership. Right. And, you know, started running their ads and stuff. It was great. I, I was making my first little bit of passive income. Right. And, um, or in a sense, digital income. Right. Absolutely. Passive. Absolutely. So <clears throat> started doing that and everything and um, started from there and just picked up a few clients, uh, different ones. I did it for another car business. Um, I did a little bit of website design and um, kind of like all over the board with <laughs> the digital agency. So Absolutely. And, uh, then I niched down, still own the detail shop and I pretty much do more of the operations on that side. Right. And the um, obviously the advertising and stuff. And now I do a little bit of consulting with Facebook ads. I work with a few personality brands. And that's that's my favorite part is working with personality brands because I love just the selling of digital info goods online. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. it's so instantaneous. Like you drive yep. traffic to a page, you know your numbers, boom. You don't have to rely on sending leads to a local business that has never had any um I could say experience of co closing cold leads or something. Right. Like that. I've had a problem in the uh -oh. past with that. What happened? We lost. We lost. Uh, we lost Nick there. I'm still here. <laughs> we lost you there, buddy. What happened? Uh, can you hear me? Let's give him here a minute. He'll probably uh, serve us back up. Probably just the camera thing. Let's see here. Anyone watching, stay tuned. We're going to be back here in just a moment. It'll be just a second. So as you guys see, um, you know, I'm just going to – there we go. There he is. He's back. I really have no clue what happened. I mean, I can still see you <laughs> and everything like that. So Hey, no worries, man. You're good. So, yeah, keep going. You were saying that, uh, you know, you're now working with some personality brands, and that's kind of your, like, your passion, your main thing that you like yes. doing. Yeah, so I, I really love personality brands. Um, that's kind of my favorite thing. I just I love the idea of um, human to human selling. Right. So, which uh, I know so many people have. Like, I uh, saw something that was like, you know, is there's B two B markets, there's B two C markets, and then there's but all sales is human to human. Right. I love I love digitizing someone. Um, I, I used to create a lot of YouTube content, and I still actually kind of post here and there. In fact, I probably take this interview and post it on there too. <laughs> but um, I post here and there on YouTube. I've always loved to provide value to others. Um, in fact, one of my older channels, I was able to grow up to like thirty five hundred subscribers, just posting tutorials on how to use Photoshop and After Effects and stuff. And that's actually that's still awesome. up on YouTube. That's so awesome. and I'm still getting views and everything like that. Right. Absolutely. But, um, Pretty awesome. Oh yeah. So that's great. So, so here's the thing. So you touched on a couple of really important points and by saying that, you know, you went from going to school, going to college, and then also having like a traditional job, right? Like a nine to five kind of, uh, you know, like, um, you know, a physical, physical job that a lot of people, you know, kind of are trying to, to get away from and things like that. So what I want to kind of ask you, and I, I'm, I'm going to go into the personal brand stuff and the, the agency and all that, because honestly, that's what I'm really interested in. But what I, you know, what I really want to get out of this, this interview for a lot of the people that are watching today is the, the fact that you were going through the routine or the norm, right? You were going through mm -hmm. the norm, the same, yeah, you know, kind of following the footsteps of what, what's socially, you know, uh, 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 approved or what's socially like the right thing to do, right? which is have a job, go to school, you know, graduate, and then do whatever after. So what I want to ask is, what was the shift? Kind of what made the shift? Like, why did you decide that? Because I know you said one day you were putting everything, you know, back in the truck, and you're like, something's got to change. Like, I'm not going to do this forever, right? And then you also mentioned that you were going to school, but then you, you dropped out of school. So what I want to understand is what made the shift that, something's going to change and then dropping out of school and then going into entrepreneurship full time. So I think a lot of stuff kind of just compound it to make the final decision. Right. Uh, but yeah, the, the pivotal moment moment uh, for me was, yeah, you know, I was loading stuff up to a trailer. I said something got to change, you know, um, even if I'm still going to school, like I literally just need a side income to make money so I can focus on school and also live life during school and not be like stuck working eight hour days and then like trying to make ends meet in the middle of going to school and studying and stuff. Right. And um, 
God, I, I, one, just being that course, the course opened up my mind because when I was going to school, I was going for mechanical engineering right. and I wanted to open up a machine shop because I live in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, and our area is very uh, oil field based. The oil okay. field, depending on yeah. how it's doing, drives this economy. And I even noticed it in the detail shop when the oil field's booming in a sense where our area is at, everyone wants to blow money. Right. And, you know, eating out, buying vehicles and stuff, you know, it, it supplies the economy in our area. And when it's not booming, everything's like frozen. Right. <laughs> so at the time, the oil field was booming. So I'm like, I want to make a lot of money. I'm going to go to school. I'm going to become a mechanical engineer and open up a machine shop, which in reality is today. I'm like, you know, that's pretty stupid. I could just <laughs> paid a bunch of mechanical engineers to do the work for the right. machine shop. So, yeah. um, so I had that one moment where I realized after taking the course and opened up my mind to this entrepreneurship world right. that, okay, so I really don't need to go to school for that. Right. Um, so I entered school like, hey, you know, I kind of don't feel like I, know, I don't, I don't mean here to now. Up. How much did you invest in that course? Um, $500 US uh, dollars. Okay. So, and I was back in 2015. So a $500 course at that time when there wasn't a lot of people in this space, um, or at least well known in this space, right. um, definitely seemed like a lot of my time. I mean, 18 year old right. dropping 500 on a course. <laughs> right. So, and I mean, that was the easiest sell too, because I literally found out about that brand within two hours. I purchased the course. <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome. and, um, both of those mentors are still in my life today and they've regardless, I didn't make any money with Forex trading with what right. they taught me, but the mindset impact right. they have on my life is Absolutely. priceless. Absolutely. So Absolutely. definitely. But, and, um, this is, uh, this is something that I tell a lot of people out there. Like every person that I look up to, um, and I'm always saying this is education. Like you need to, to, to gain self knowledge. You need to self develop yourself, right? You need to invest in yourself mm -hmm. before you invest in any businesses which is kind of why a lot of beginner Amazon sellers like in my space get pissed at me when they ask me what is the number one, you know, what is the number one, uh, uh, um, you know, advice you would give me, you know, I'm still starting out. And I say, invest in yourself. They're like, oh, you're just trying to sell your program. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not selling you my program. I'm not even telling you I'll mentor you. Like I have, like I have a whole process myself to go through for me to mm -hmm. even take you on. I don't just take on anyone. You don't have to buy my stuff. I'm just saying, invest in yourself before you invest in any product invest in yourself and you know you're very right when you said you made no money with forex but it was the eye opening you know like the first course i ever took 497 dollars the course sucked sucked the mentor sucked the course and the whole thing just sucked but it got me where i am today you know what i mean and if it wasn't because i made the commitment that i made the investment into that course I wouldn't have been here, you know what I mean? So so that, that that's the um that's the thing that a lot of people need to really understand and um and get that like self development. You need to really invest in yourself before you invest in any other businesses. Now tell us about what exactly you do today. Um how does the company work, your consulting company, uh, uh your agency work, and how can someone watching today who wants you to help them, uh, uh um, how can they reach out to you? Definitely. So the way my business works, uh, I purely help people with just the Facebook ad side. I've right. been doing, um, you know, I've, I've grown a large awareness now of how Facebook ads work. I mean, like I said, I started off with boosting a post to now learning how to do multi layers of marketing, um, not multi level marketing, but just being able to add depth to our marketing uh, right. with each business. You know, I've learned a lot of neuro psychology and stuff, which I think is is key to what separates a you know good Facebook ads person to just a standard one. Um, I know one of our one of my clients, they were running Facebook ads originally before I came in and just did free consult uh, consultation where we literally went through the ads manager and just showed them a few tips and tricks. And, you know, the people that were running ads before was like, wasn't even speaking to their target market. So right. uh, I learned a lot with just the, you know, the copywriting side and everything. And uh, what I do, what I purely focus on, like I said, is the Facebook ad side, the copywriting side, um, working with the personality brand of helping them create the content they need 
that will sell people. And I'm not, I'm not talking about like actually going there and filming it for them, like, you know, guiding them with a script if they need of a few basic key points to talk about. And, um, you know, I really don't do any like Google AdWords or anything. I, I've, I've learned to purely focus on one thing. Um, there's a quote, I forgot who said it, but it was like, you know, you can either go a mile wide and an inch deep or an inch inch wide and a mile deep and ever since i've heard that i'm like wow so it completely changed how i run my business from the client scouting i know you know me personally i've worked with some clients in the past that weren't perfect fit for me you know they they didn't have their shit together yet they didn't know how to either close cold leads um they may not have had a product yet that was proven um you know they still have some bugs to work out in their campaign and while I can definitely help them out with that. That's not my area of specialties. Right. Um, you know, I purely work with the Facebook ad side of someone who has all their stuff together and is looking to scale their business now. You know, that's already making sales organically and is looking to go from there and guide them of how to, you know, grow to the 10 figure, 10, five figure, six figure, seven figure months from there. That's so cool. Um, that's pretty much what I work with. And, you know, to define a personality brand, cause I was in a meeting the other day and someone was like, well, what's a personality brand? Right. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Bashard, he's a personality brand, you know, anyone that monetizes themselves, I'm right. a personal brand. Right. Um, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez, right. I, w- I would say Gary V, but you know, he is a personality brand, but he doesn't make his money from selling products to you guys. So, uh, right. or he does a little bit, but you know, like the digital product side, right. uh, that's, you know, my specialties. Cause uh, like I said, I love it. It's instantaneous right. with driving, you know, traffic to a page and you convert some, uh, cause obviously no one gets hundred percent conversion right. rates. So. That would be nice, right? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> That'd be very nice. And you know, I love the digital products. Like I said, it, it reduces some of the errors in the sales cycle as if, you know, there's some digital agencies that, you know, create leads for say dentists or chiropractors. Um, I still have to supply leads for my other business I own. And um, there's a lot of human error involved. You know, they might have like a bad day, get on a sales call. I'm like, hey, right. these leads suck. I'm like, well, you know, you didn't follow up with them. <laughs> right. you, um, you, you call them once, they didn't answer and you went to the next lead and never touched that lead again. So um, I love the digital product side where it's literally just driving traffic to a sales page. And, you know, it's all comes down to the math after that, you know, drive a hundred people at a dollar a pop. So you spend a hundred dollars to drive a hundred people to a page that converts at 20%, you know, on a, you know, maybe 50, hundred dollar product, $200 product. So uh, you definitely be spending way more (laughs) on the ad spend for that. So but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I purely focus on right now. And what I do, I do a mixture of done for you services, right? where I, I take on a client and I'll do all the Facebook ads for them. And I also do a little bit of done with you services where I'll consult with their team, um, which I think last consulting deal I just did was actually with a client that's outside my realm, but he was a good friend of mine and uh, he really needed some help. And I pretty much helped him. He was doing lead forms from Facebook ads and he wanted to integrate Facebook um, landing, the landing page with click funnels and stuff into right. his ad campaign. So right. uh, another digital agency helped cut down his lead costs significantly. He loved it. So, uh, but yeah, so that's two types of services I offer and really it just comes down to if, you know, if you have a team already, right. And you just need to raise their awareness, their perspective on Facebook ads, uh, because you don't know what you don't know, and uh, help them run their ads more efficiently. Or, hey, I don't have anything. I do these ads a little bit here by myself, or maybe I have my niece that thinks she knows what she's doing with social media. And, um, you know, I let her run a little bit, dabble with like four or five hundred dollars ad budget a month, you know, nothing crazy. And then I'll be like, okay, just look, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna help you out, we'll take care of it. So, but uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I do in the agency space right now. That's incredible, man. That's an awesome thing. And, um, you know, the fact that you actually have found out uh, this space, you know, and you 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 made it your business to really go into a space, learn it, understand everything in it, and then, you know, launch your own business within it. It's, it's an awesome thing. And I mean, man, look, you're, you're how old right now? 22, 23, right? 22. I turned 23 in December. Okay, so 23. I mean, I don't even know what the hell I was. Actually, I had just bought my restaurant at, at 23 and uh, total disaster. So you're way ahead of me. I know that for sure. 
because you definitely have a successful business in front of you. So that's an awesome thing. Now, what is one thing that an entrepreneur or, or I don't want to say an entrepreneur, a entrepreneur, I call them, right? Someone wanting, like someone in your, in your shoes, you know, in 2015, 2014, that's working a dead end job, whether if they are in high school, college, out of college, 30 years old, 40 years old, they're working a dead end job. They've been doing it for, you know, the, the while now. And then they've been following the norm, like what society says is the norm. They went to college or didn't go to college. It just doesn't seem that enough is, you know, nothing is enough, right? But they they want to, you know, they want to convert and go into entrepreneurship, but they, they're just paralyzed in fear. They don't know how... Or, or where to make the move or what to do, what is the next step? And then they're watching all these YouTube videos and all these gurus, you know, shouting at them. What is the one thing you would tell them to do today that might change their life or might change their outcome or put them in the right path? So the kind of the way I got into it and stuff, um, I tested a lot of shit. Right. <laughs> um, and marketing was always the one thing that kept standing up standing up and in today's society it's so easy in a sense to get started with a business because you know a few years ago um let me say a little bit longer like 10 15 years ago you know to start a business i mean that's talking about getting a mortgage getting a shop getting a physical location oh maybe even getting hundreds of thousand dollars in debt to order a product that to put online that maybe will work right. um now with this age of digital products it's crazy because if let's say you know you are working full time job exactly like what you said, um, you know you cut out the Netflix one hour a day, you know maybe two hours a day depending on how much free time you have. You just start learning a skill, start reading a bunch of books on things that interest you, right. and finding a skill or finding something that interests you and becoming a expert at that. Uh, right. For me, it was Facebook ads. I just kept learning. I mean, today, even today, I'm still spending hours one every day learning more about it, learning more about the psychology and everything like that behind the marketing. Um, but just find something that really gets you excited. And then from there, just start helping others and providing value to others that need that specific skill. So let's just say it's Facebook ads. Just start reaching out to people, providing value to them for free. And they will see that. They will see that drive in you and they will either one offer, you know, for you to help them work alongside of them, offer your services monthly fee, or they might share your services. Let's just say if they don't need your services or your product, if that's something that you're going into, um, then they might give it to their friends. They might share with you in your network. Right. And again, this is all something you can do hour, two hours a day while at home. Um, Majority of people have a laptop. Majority of people are a computer. Majority of people have a phone. Right. Um, I mean, there's the there's so many possibilities online, and that's that's a good thing and a bad thing because people get paralysis analysis with the amount of opportunities. So it's good to research quite a few, really understand the pros and the cons of each one uh, of the different things. Uh, I know you do a lot of Amazon. Um, that's something I never really got into was selling my own product just because it is a larger upfront cost, which to be honest, I mean, the amount of money I spent on educational material on Facebook ads and stuff, they were probably about the same right. as a, a, upfront costs and stuff. So, um, so yeah, learn a new skill or get exposed to a bunch of information, learn a new skill. Maybe you need to learn a few and just figure out which one sticks to you. Absolutely. Um, not to really plug anyone in here, but Lewis Mocker, Highly recommend you looking it up. He has a product called the Purpose Process, which helps you kind of find your purpose and allows you to link multiple different things that's happened over your lifetime together to really figure out your top like three things that really drive you and motivate you and make you happy. Right. And you can use those things to kind of pick which product or service uh, you want to go into, what type of business you want to go into. So, um, so yeah, find a skill you love. Once you find that skill, start reaching out to people online, offering that service our product. Um, I know I just have a friend of mine who started an art business right. and she was like, Hey, you know, what's some ways I can grow it. Right. Said, okay. Here's what you can do. You go DM a hundred people and offer our influencers, hundred, hundred influencers between 25 to 75 K followers on Instagram, offer your service or your product free as long as right. they give you a shout out. So starts 
reach out to people, reach out to people because she was going to do a giveaway at first. Right. And that's going to attract the wrong type of buyers. Um, so she started marketing to, you know, reach out to people and she picked up an influencer that's of a decent size and boom, there you go. A lot of exposure right then and there. And now she has more exposure and stuff, more reach out, people reach out to her business and stuff. So um, now with online, it just makes it so easy. But again, it's just testing a bunch of different things and uh, don't be scared. <laughs> just do it. Um, not to be cliche and everything with the Nike thing. So, but it's every day you push, every day you wait is another day that's going to delay your success. Maybe by a day, a few that's weeks, right. a year. So every day you stop the, doing the successful habits as well, delays your success by a few days, a few years, you know, months, weeks, etc. So absolutely, that's right. my best advice. Absolutely, man. Definitely. And um, I think the best thing you said was was really just do it. You know, like I, I guess so many people that are just hesitant. And as you said, they've been waiting. Oh, I tried to go into it last month or last year, but I just haven't because of this and because of that. You know, so really ju just like taking action, like literally taking action is the one thing that will that differentiates those who have from those that don't have, you know, now not to getting technical on everything here. What are two things you would tell those trying to go into the space of learning how to do Facebook ads, the whole, you know, digital world and paid traffic? What would, what would be two things you would tell them? So someone is a completely newbie. What would be two things you would tell them that they need to watch out for? Watch out for, or just to kind of like learn in general. I get both either or either. Okay. Or. So, um, honestly, the first thing I would do, let's just say if I would go back, um, first thing I would do, get Russell Brunson's book, expert secrets and dot com oh, yeah. secrets. Oh yeah. While they do have a lot of really good books on psychology and stuff, like I'm, you know, I'm about to buy breakthrough advertising, which is $120 for a book that covers a lot of buyer psychology and stuff. But expert secrets, dot com secrets is like a $40 investment and so it can get you upstate really quick. Right. Um, Next thing I would do is with Facebook ads, originally I was just boosting a post. Do not boost a post <laughs> at all. So, right. yeah. And then I would go YouTube, start looking up ads manager, learning how to use the ads manager, um, running campaigns from a different perspective of just, yeah. like I said, clicking boost a post and stuff. Um, and you want to create content that demonstrates to your buyers why they should buy from you. Right. So that could be establishing your authority, providing value to them that you're credible to it, um, as well as tapping into some of their buyer motives, which, you know, for them, it might be, oh, look, you know, I really want to make more money. Will this product help me? Sure. You know, here's exactly how it will help you out and stuff. So uh, which I goes kind of like in copyright and stuff. But um, so, yeah, learning how you see ads manager, uh, creating video content and each video. Pretty much the goal is to just demonstrate to people that why they should buy from you go into the ads manager you target your ideal audience and you want to create three different ad sets it's going a little bit more technical but three different ad sets um each about let's just say five dollars a day just to get started and target three different groups of people that you think are your ideal audience right and from there um you know run that for four days figure out which one gets the best feedback. Obviously there's so much more to it, but that's just an easy way to kind of get some traction, get some exposure. So um, I know Russell Brunson, he, he gives some really good advice, but is every day record a video, take out your phone, record a video, uh, maybe two, three minutes long. Again, demonstrating why people should buy from you, why, why your product or service they should buy from you. Every day, create a video, um, target your ideal audience, spend maybe 20, 30 bucks on it for a few days. And you will have one video that will take off because it's just the law of numbers. You do something so many times, you keep changing right. it, you will have a success. Uh, you post on YouTube and I post on YouTube and we both know every now and then we have that one video that's boom, right. blows up. Absolutely. And that's pretty much what you do <laughs> uh, with Facebook ads and stuff. Just, every day you're posting a video and um, I forgot there's, there's one guy that I was listening to. It was Russell Brunson and Ty Lopez and Russell Brunson gave that advice to that guy. And this guy was like six days in and he was just like kept messing, messaging Russell instead of saying like, hey, dude, this is not working. I can't stand this. Like, you know, I need some help. And Russell's like, just keep at it. Keep at it. 30 more days, you know, or however many more days till 30. That seventh day, he uploaded a video and built a seven figure funnel with that one video. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> 
so that's probably my biggest advice right there is just start creating content, uh, boost and target your ideal or target your ideal audience in the ads manager and go get, you know, expert secrets.com secrets. I'm not affiliated with Russell Brunson at all, but I just think he um, shows and demonstrates everything so easily to understand compared to like some of these other books that like I'm reading, but it's a little bit more advanced, a little bit more um, deaf, but you know, the two expert secrets, .com secrets provide so much value for so little that oh, yeah. it's really good books to get started with. Absolutely, man. Definitely. Now, anyone watching today, if they want to reach out to you, have you manage their ads, have them, have you manage their campaigns? How, what is the best way to reach you? Uh, you can simply add me on Facebook at uh, Nick Terrio. You can reach out to me on Instagram um, at Nick Terrio underscore. Uh, you can reach out to my business page, Terrio Solutions. Um, you can find me on my website, nickterrio.org. So uh, there's a few different ways, but honestly, Facebook's the easiest way. Send me a friend request, and uh, I'll pretty much accept and talk to everyone. So <laughs> it won't be too hard to get in contact. Absolutely, man. So um, once again, guys, if you all are watching right now and want Nick to take care of your ads, you know, if you don't know what you're doing or, or you think you know what you're doing, but you just want to scale – Make sure that you contact Nick. He is tagged in this um, in this uh, uh, post, so be sure just click on his name, add him, send him a message, and um, just reach out to him, talk to him. As he said, you know, he'll talk to anybody really. Nick, my man, I really appreciate you doing this. Um, you know, this was uh, this was really cool, really cool, awesome stuff, awesome content. Um, and if you guys watching, if you guys have any questions for me and Nick, drop them in the comment section. Would love to answer your questions. And as you know, every Monday and Friday, I bring an entrepreneur like Nick that has a product service or just an inspirational message to share with you guys to help impact your lives as it is part of my movement in 2019 to impact the lives of 2,500 people. Aside from that, thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here with us, Nick. I really appreciate you doing this, my man. I will see you thank guys. You, it was a pleasure. Video. Absolutely, man. See you guys next video. You guys have a great day and uh, take care.